come up and help me out. Did I say victim? I didn't mean victim. No. Everybody will leave with their arms and legs. Maybe not heads, but that's okay. All right, you're laughing. You're my first victim. I'm volunteer. Come on up. Come on up. Come on. Hey. Right here. What's your name? Hi. Everybody say hi. Hi. Right. Hold on a second. I need two more crazy victim volunteers. All right. One. Come on up. Two! Okay, stay right here. You stay right here. Stop right here. Right there. Alright, what's your name? You don't know? Excellent. That's funny. What's your name? Everybody say hi! Hi! Alright, so let's get started today. I have some cups. Everybody look straight ahead. This is a very cool mad science cup. And now I need to put this cup right on your head. Can you hold it with your hands, please? Make sure it's nice and tight. Excellent. I've got another crazy mad science cup. Can you put that on your head, please? Hold it with your hands. Don't move it. I've got a cool white cup with X's on it. How do you know I was going to have you put that on your head? You're smart. Okay, put that right on your head. Don't drop it. One of these cups are different. Pretty easy to figure out which one is different, right? I need to put water into one of these cups. You guys have to help me out on which cup to put the water in. Should I put the water in this cup? Oh, we can be louder than that. Yeah. This cup. Yeah. This cup. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. How about the middle one sounds good? Okay. Okay, don't move. I don't want to spill any more. Hold on. There we go. Oh, it's not acid. I promise. She's gonna let me just make sure. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so what's going to happen now, boys and girls, is the hard part. I will move these cups around so fast, you are going to forget which cup I put the water in. <laughs> You're laughing, man. Are you trying to say it's the only white cup up there? Is, is it the only white cup up there? Should it be pretty easy to remember which cup has the water in it? All right, well, this is going to happen like... Lickety split, so don't blink, don't close your eyes because you're going to miss it. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Don't blink. This is not good. Never touch it. Never, never, never. Oh! Wait a second. This polyacrylate is the chemical that is in baby diapers! Oh! Give her a round of applause. Good job. Go sit down. Go sit down. All right. I need another volunteer. I need a crazy... Let me see some crazy faces. Let me see any crazy volunteers. 
Hold on. Oh, I see. I need to. Hold on. Let me see crazy faces. Let me see. Let me see. My volunteer. That's good. That's good. My. Oh, that's really good. My volunteer needs to be this tall. Ladies, I don't see any. Oh, she is close. Hold on. No, no, no. Still too. Well, my best friend is actually this tall. And he's going to help me with the next experiment. Can, can he come out and help me with the next experiment? Do you mind? He's all right. Now, but the one thing you have to promise me is he's kind of shy. So there's no giggling. Can you, there's no, can you, can you, please don't giggle, okay? No giggling, no giggling. Okay, so I want you to meet my bestest friend. My bestest friend is Egbert. Say hi, Egbert. You're giggling. I'm watching. You're giggling. Well, he's my... He's my bestest friend, and you know what? Wherever I go, I have somebody I can play with. Like, oh, oh. That's good. That would have been cracking. Oh, no, no. That would have been cracking. <laughs> well, Egbert, on the way here, got into my lunchbox. And he ate my Doritos and my Funyuns and my Dunkaroos. And his belly went like this. went... <laughs> and he said, Mad Rich, I'm really tired. So, this is his home. Boys and girls, we call this an Erlemeyer place. Can you guys say Erlemeyer? And he is so tired, he's going to go into his home and he's going to take a nap. So are you ready? He's going to get into his house. He's going to go right, right. Is he going to fit? Well, we made a guess. And you know what we call guesses in science? Hypothesis. Hypothesis. Good job. You guys are awesome. Ready? Here we go. Let's see. And... Uh-oh. He doesn't fit. Well, I need you to help me make some hypotheses or hypothesis on how we can get Egbert to go into his house. What do you think? Ah! Did you hear him? He said, crack him up. Hold on a second. You mean with this? Crack, bro, watch out. I would never. He's my best. Mm, I love Egbert. No, I would never crack him. No, no, no. How do you think we're going to get him in? Melt him. That would be dangerous. And I look, here, kiss him, make him feel better. He's sick. No, 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 no. Okay. How about if we take his coat off? And let's keep our fingers crossed that he's hardballed. Okay, ready? Hold on. Wait a second. Oh, wait, here he goes. This is Egbert Jr. Here he goes. Is he going to fit? We are making guesses. So, what do we call guesses? Science. Good job. You guys are excellent. All right, here we go. He's got to fit in. Here he goes. And uh oh, he doesn't fit. Well, what are we breathing? Air. Air and oxygen. Do we need air and oxygen to live? Yes. Does Egbert need air and oxygen to live? Yes. Oh, he's my. He's in just an egg. That's okay. Now, also, you know what else needs air and oxygen? Is fire. Do we ever play with fire? No. Boys and girls, please never play with fire. But now it also needs something to burn. And I happen to have some cool mad science birthday paper because we do the awesomest birthday parties ever in the whole entire world. So I have paper. I have Egbert. I have his home. Hold on a second. I got it. I got it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I would never eat Egbert. I promise you I would never eat him. No, no, I would not. Oh. Oh. Should I give him a bath first? 
Yeah, I'm gonna give him a bat. Hold on, here we go. La -di -di, la -di -da. Oh, maybe he'll come out when we dump him out. Ready? No, he didn't come out. Okay, so let's blow in there as hard as I can and see if we can make the air in there stronger than the air outside. All right, here we go. And they take that carbon dioxide and they squeeze it and they make it into a solid piece of ice. And you know how cold it is in there? It is minus 109 degrees below zero. It is minus, it's a negative number. Who here has studied negative numbers? That's really crazy. It's below zero. It's minus 109 degrees. I can't touch it with my skin. If I touched it with my skin, you know what would happen? It would burn exactly right. You're smart. I like that. I was watching you. That's good. Excellent. Now, should I reach in and hold it? No, because it would hurt me. So I'm going to put my special gloves on. My special glove on. And I'm going to dump some out right here. This is what frozen carbon dioxide looks like. Now, it's not made from liquid. It's not made from water. It's made from a gas called carbon dioxide, and they squeeze it, and they squeeze it together, and they make it into a solid. Now, do you see that smoke coming off? It's not really smoke. What do you think it could be? What do you think it could be? Say carbon dioxide. Excellent, good job, excellent, yeah, excellent. It's carbon dioxide. That's the chemical that it's made from. So when that chemical turns from a solid into a vapor, you know what we say? We, we say it sublimates. Can you guys say sublimate? Good job. Now, can you come up and help me? Come here. Oh, you're good, you're brave. What's your name? Everybody say hi. Now, what do you think would happen if I take this ice and put it into water? Will it blow up? No, I hope not. No, no, no. Okay, let's try it. Hold on. I have some water right here. And I'm going to take some of this ice. And I'm going to take a fine, nice small piece. And I'm going to put it right in there. Let's get a bunch. Excellent. Now, this smoke, this carbon dioxide, because it's not smoke, when it comes up and out, is it going up or down? Down. Do you think that means it's heavier or lighter than the air around us? Heavier. It is so heavy it sinks. Are you brave? Can I try something? Give me a thumbs up. Excellent. It is so heavy, I can pour it. Butter. Look at that. <laughs> Don't tell her her hair is turning purple. <laughs> it's not really turning purple, I promise. Good job. Give me a thumbs up. Now, this is really brave, so give her a round of applause. That's really brave. Good, that's smart, good job. So carbon dioxide is actually heavier than the air around us. There's actually a little bit of carbon dioxide in what we breathe out, and it's sinking down to the ground. Now, this water in here, you see the bubbles that are going through there? Well, that bubble is carbon, carbon dioxide, and it's going through the bubbles and through the water, and it's turning that water into soda water. Now that is soda without the flavor. Now we may know soda without the flavor as salsa. All the moms and dads and aunts and uncles. But that is water that has bubbles in it. Wait a second. Do you think we can make a mad science soda burp? Yes. Should I try? No. Okay, I need you two. Come on up. Come on up. Yeah, yeah, come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. 
heard you guys say this when you were walking in. It makes me even sad. It makes me even sadder. But I thought you guys said this. When you were walking in, did you guys say, I don't take baths. I only take showers. Did you say that? Did anybody else hear them say that? You heard it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? It's okay because I happen to have a mad science shower. Just for you two. This is my shower. You're laughing. Do you not think you're... Hold on. We need to put some ingredients here. The first ingredient is going to be hot water. second ingredient is going to be carbon dioxide. And remember, it's minus 109 degrees. It's really cold. It'll actually burn your fingers, so never touch it. So I'm going to put some carbon dioxide in here. Okay. And then I have to put my shower head on. Excellent. Oh, this is good. This is good. Here, stay right here on the line. Look straight ahead. Arms up. Wait a second. Are they really getting clean? No, they're not. We need thank you, sir. We need soap. Hold on. I just happen to have soap with me right here. Okay, stand on that. Stand right here on that line. Look straight ahead. Okay, let's hope. Where are you? Uh, so there, there you go. Now you're nice and clean. Oh, very good, very good, very good. All right, give them a big round of applause. That was really good. Good, 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 good job, guys. Well, this makes me even sad because there is one person I know I thought I heard, I, 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 it was my ears, I heard it. They said, I still don't take showers. And it was you, sir. Because science and math science can be for big kids as well as little kids. Excellent. What's your name? Everybody say hi. Hi. All right, here we go. <laughs> Alright, give them a round of applause. Good job, guys. Excellent. Alright, well, I have some sad news because this portion of the Mad Science Show is actually... Oh, you're crying. It's actually over. Give yourselves a big round of applause. But before you go, Mad Science, we do the coolest birthday parties. We go to schools. We do scouting events. We do assemblies. If you want to come up, I have some cool flyers. We we have a laboratory up in Jupiter, or we travel around the whole county of Palm Beach. Boys and girls, thank you so much for visiting me. Have a great rest of your day at the fair, and stay dry, and have a great time. Bye, everybody! Yeah.